final week of the regular season is upon us. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some fun promotions and senior day coming up at Bettinger Stadium. Thanks for joining us on the Purdue Softball Show. I'm Corey Palm. This is head coach Boo de Oliveira. Uh, coach, we'll, we'll, we'll first start talking about series at Michigan State. Go up there one and two on the, on the road against the Spartans. Um, Great performance in that uh, in that Saturday win, the good bounce back win for the team. Um, uh, Alex Echezaretta again, great in the circle. Um, six strikeouts in the going the distance for the win uh, for your squad. Uh, just looking at, at at that win and and the way the team sort of responded uh, with that. A lot of hits, a lot, lot of, of hits. lot of good offense started early. Mm -hmm. You got on the board in the first inning. Um, multi hit games for Ty Jones and Jade Moy. Just everything sort of clicked that day. Yeah, it just, you know, we came back, it was a doubleheader because of weather, so um, game game two of the series, which was game one of the day, unfortunately did not win, but came back in game two, and um, Jade Moy starts off with a hit, Tyrena starts off with a hit, back-to-back -back hits, um, we scored in the first inning, it was definitely just kind of a different team, the team that we expected to show up, mm -hmm. that showed up that inning, and then just stayed on them the whole game, um, Alex pitched great, uh, Friday night she also had a, a conference, her Big Ten uh, strikeout conference record of six, so that was nice to see back-to-back um, -back days that she did that, and the team just played well together. Yep. So what that does is that puts you in a position going into the final week of the season where uh, qualifying for the Big Ten tournament is still out there. Mm -hmm. um, need need some results against Penn State. They're they're coming to town for for three games starting Friday, uh, but uh, that's you know looking at uh, sort of the way the season has progressed you know, having a shot at the postseason is really all you can ask at this point. Yeah, and, you know, it's anybody's, it's in It's in our control. Um, we need to win this weekend, obviously. Mm -hmm. We are in the hunt with Michigan State, Rutgers, and Illinois for kind of those final spots of the Big Ten tournament. So, um, you know, feeling positive going into the weekend, feeling confident, and we just need to play Purdue softball. Friday, 5 o'clock is uh, game one against Penn State. It's mm -hmm. space day at the ballpark. Uh, some, some fun ties within the team with, with NASA that mm -hmm. I didn't even know about until mm -hmm. we were talking a few minutes ago. Yep. Well, what's going on with Space Day? So for Space Day, Coach uh, Dorian Shaw's mom actually works at NASA. Her name is Donna Shaw. We call her the Donna. <laughs> and the Donna is throwing out the first pitch on that day, which is great. Um, there's going to be some really neat uh, give, give out flags of Space Day. And um, just come with your Space Day clothes. You know, anything that Star, Star Wars, Star Trek, Space, Astronauts, NASA, anything goes. Um, Purdue obviously has a really big connection to um, astronauts and space, so um, we're glad to get to celebrate it. Calendar doesn't quite work out. It's May 5th, <laughs> right, but... not May the 4th, <laughs> which is, you know, International Star Wars Day, yeah. whether you like it or, or not, not <laughs> uh, which I fall into the <laughs> latter category there myself, uh, but, but still really a, a mm -hmm. fun tie-in, especially at a place like Purdue where space is so integral to, mm -hmm. to this university. Then Saturday, uh, another special day, uh, Mental Health Awareness Day. Yep, Mental yeah. Health Awareness Day. Our team um, will be wearing green ribbons to celebrate mental health awareness. Uh, mental health is real. Uh, we talk about it a lot on our team, and it's definitely something that affects um, our entire world. So we're glad to support it and just bring some awareness to it. Definitely, definitely. Anytime you can shine a light on such an important issue, mm -hmm. it's, it's a good thing. Um, and then, of course, Sunday will be Senior Day. Uh, we'll go in. We'll go in take a moment to talk about this class <laughs> yeah. for sure, a, a group of seniors that you'll be celebrating in their final home game. A good group. <laughs> a good group, a very good group. Uh, uh, we'll go through, um, start with Emily Cox, who, you know, sort of talk about what each of them has, has done for this club. Emily Cox is the ultimate Boilermaker. Um, she is uh, you know, a hometown hero. She's from Lafayette, Indiana. Her parents went to Purdue. A lot of her family's gone to Purdue. Um, Everything about Emily Cox is Purdue and Purdue softball. She really does believe black and gold and has just been the ultimate teammate for our team. Um, when you need someone to have everybody's back or you need someone to remind people of their tradition or the importance or the standard of excellence that is at Purdue, Emily is your person. She's been a joy to coach and just an overall great person. How cool is it and, and, and really how important is it to have local kids, you know, interspersed throughout your lineup? I know you've had some starters, some mm -hmm. role players, some, some great bench presences over the years, this is a really weird word I just said there, sorry. Uh, but to have those local local kids for all of the, the pride reasons that you say. It's definitely important to have. Um, you know, we always want to recruit 
the best in the state of Indiana, but to have people that are really local, mm -hmm. the Emily Cox, the Kira Dillon, you know, Lex Conars, because we have several Indiana residents on our team. And it just really, um, you know, those are athletes that from the time they're born, they're Boilermaker born and bred. And that's really important for um, not only keeping traditions alive, but also can, you know, um, just the heartbeat of the team, keeping it going. You mentioned her there. Uh, let's mm -hmm. move on to Lex Konarski. Mm -hmm. uh, she's she's had a, a nice senior season. She has. Um, Lex was a transfer to us. This is her second year with us. She's from Indiana. Um, she was a high school teammate of uh, Purdue alumni Riley Potusik, which was nice. And Lex has just been great to coach. She has um, a very unique personality. She can always bring humor to situations. And she's really just um, pretty steady Eddie on the mound. She's really calm, especially in relief. We've used her a lot in relief. And she just has a really good variety of pitches. And um, as far as, you know, as a person, she's just very real. She is um, – she's just really great to be around. She loves her cat. She always has funny cat stories for us. Our team loves them. And uh, to get to see her come here and complete the degree that she wants to complete, complete – complete, sorry, in the major that she wants to complete it in um, has been great, and she's been a great addition to our program. That's great. That's one thing, you know, we were we were looking up some some softball alums mm -hmm. uh, earlier this week, and, you know, they leave here, and, and those of us who sort of work with the team but don't see them every day, mm -hmm. we never know where they go, what they do. <laughs> so it, it, it's so cool to watch them achieve their goals academically mm -hmm. and then move on to the career that they want. Yeah, we actually had, um, we've had several alumni come to our road trips this past weekend, most recently, we had Shelby Kramer come, oh, okay. who was a catcher when yeah. I was here as an assistant, um, you know, and just kind of exchanging emails with her and her mom saying how much coming to Purdue has really propelled her into her career and kind of built her up as a person. And, um, you know, that's the ultimate goal is obviously compete for championships and get a degree while you're here, have a great experience, leave the program better than you found it. But to have alumni that still want to be involved in the program mm -hmm. is, is really great. Uh, moving on to Anna Lanchar, uh, another one of the role mm -hmm. players on the team. Um, 31 starts this season, yep. which is which is great, uh, a great way for, for her career to go out. We've only had Anna for one year. Um, she was a grad transfer to us, but it's been a great year with her. She has seen a lot of time behind the plate catching. She is a very um, wise soul, if that's <laughs> something. Mm -hmm. um, she's just very mature, very calm. Um, she has a really big heart, and she has a great ability to communicate with a lot of different uh, teammates on different levels. She can be very real. She can be um, very empathetic. She can be... Uh, stern. Um, she has a lot of great qualities as a leader and uh, being able to have her for this year has definitely brought some maturity to our leadership that we needed. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Run the range of, of skills behind yeah. the plate. That's really yeah. important because you never know what, uh, what that pitcher is going to need to hear. Right? <laughs> There's a lot of different pitchers, a lot of different <laughs> personalities and um, Anna has managed to definitely build relationships with all of them. And the last but certainly not least of the seniors we'll be, we'll be celebrating on Sunday is Alex Echezaretta. Now it feels like she's been here for <laughs> like nine years uh, because she, yes. she contributed from day one. Uh, what, what has Alex meant to this program? Alex has been um, a major contributor to our program. You know, when you do the recruiting, especially with Alex's class, we recruited so far in advance that, you know, we've known some of these athletes on our team for five, six, seven, eight, eight years because of how early we've recruited. Um, this is Alex's fifth year. Her first season or two, she did mostly pitching. Um, then she started playing first base some, started hitting. And I would say, you know, coming into this fifth year, she is definitely um, our clutch hitter. You know, when we need a hit, she's who we want up to bat. She's had a lot of clutch innings on the mound for us. Um, we haven't had her play first base this year. We've have, we have a bigger roster that we have other first basemen, but also just letting her focus on pitching and hitting, which are her two strongest suits. And Alex is just, um, she's just tough. You know, she's someone that we, um, we always want up in pressure situations or always run on the mound. And uh, her ability to compete, to um, always stay aggressive is something that will definitely serve her well in the future. And, uh, you know, it's been, this is her fifth year. We were talking about it in the bullpen the other day about can you believe it's been five years, you know, and in one breath, um, yes, we can believe it's been five years and excited to start, you know, adulting or whatever you right, want to right, call right. it. But um, yesterday during our team's high low, she was talking about we do a high and a low every day. What's your high? What's your low? And she was talking about packing up her apartment and saying, like, 
you know, it's taken some time because she's going through the different stuff and she's finding the memories and just a lot of good memories. And you love to hear that when people are graduating, that it's not just softball, you know, 40 years from now, however long, you know, you're, you're a Boilermaker for life. And, and that's part of our uh, Boilermaker creed and the fact that our team really buys into that and that our alumni come back and really prove that that's exciting for our program. For sure. Alex, uh, statistically leads the team yeah. in, uh, in a lot in of categories, strikeouts <laughs> in wins in the circle yeah. and also in home runs, yeah. which when you, when you can lead in both pitching it's, wins and home runs, you're doing something. You can really help yourself special. out a lot, yeah. For sure. Well, can't wait to celebrate this <laughs> this crew on Sunday. Like you said, uh, been been a special group for this for this program in uh, what hasn't always been an easy time for this program. You guys mm-hmm. have faced a lot of adversity in as as the whole world has in the yeah. last three or four years. Yeah. Uh, but to, to to come together and still be able to celebrate, still be playing for something, mm-hmm. uh, the final weekend is. Uh, is is special we look forward to seeing that uh anything else any anybody else you'd like to touch on um we're also celebrating one of our student trainers blaine um blaine kid uh so he'll be there uh getting you know honored but um if you have a chance to come any of the days we really appreciate the support especially uh sunday for senior day if you stay after our games we have a little senior presentation um, for those of you that have uh, young children playing sports, it would be great for them to get to see what a big deal it is to be a student athlete, um, hear some of the speeches, uh, get to see, you know, just what a family um, the program really becomes. And that, you know, like I said, it's it's four years of your life, but mm-hmm. it's really an investment in your future. And it would be great if we could get some support for our seniors on Sunday. Definitely get out there. Get out to the bit this weekend. If you can't make it all three games, we're on Big Ten Plus. Yep. Got to gotta make that plug for uh, for my little neck of the woods. But uh, <laughs> But get out to get out to bed if you can, uh, Coach. Thanks. Good Thank luck you. this weekend.